Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Friday video where we do pretty much anything that we feel like doing. So, um, this week's through the comments, through the Facebook page, I've seen this request twice, I think, and it is the RTS camera. Now, the RTS camera is really something easy to do, and I'm going to show you the way I do it. It's a really, really silly example. Um, but basically, the thing I recommend when you're writing down some kind of movement script like that is to just break it down step by step. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing today with this camera. So I have this chessboard over here and I like to be able to actually just, you know, um, the camera goes up if I just put my cursor around here and it goes down if I put it down there. So let's just assume that this is an actual RTS and then I can actually just play it. So let's get started. We're going to create a script called RTS camera or something of the sort and we are going to open it up in your favorite code editor. So right here is the RTS camera. Now the first thing I'd like to do is actually start by um, detecting whether or not our cursor is on the side of the screen. So let's start by doing a private void update and to check that we can use the input class and also the screen class and I'll show you how I do it. So if input dot mouse position and then you get the mouse in the uh, screen coordinates so you do a dot x is bigger or let's actually do is smaller first so it's smaller than and this is going to be the size of the scroll region. So let's just say something like, I don't know, um, 30 might be fine, 50 might be better. Um, we're going to declare it up here. So private, actually let's do a public, public float, screen zone or scroll zone. So let's do a scroll zone like that, make it equal to 30. Oops. And then we're going to say if input at mouse position is smaller than 30, that means we are currently having, our cursor is currently in that position. It's currently on the left side of the screen at the very left side. And if that's the case, we can say uh, just move towards the left. So we'll keep track of the position delta with some float. So let's do float x is equal to 0, comma y is equal to 0, and also z is equal to 0 like that. And um, if we are on the left side, we're going to say x minus equal to a speed and now the speed, let's just create it right away. We're going to go up here and say public float, scroll speed. Let's put that on like 5. And uh, down here we'll say float speed is equal to scroll speed. And we're creating a new one because I want to do a times the delta time on it. Just to regulate it on every single machine. Alright, so if we're on the left side, x minus equal to speed. Now if we are on the right side, and we're going to be checking this using the following, so else if input.mouseposition.x is bigger than screen.width minus the scroll zone. So you take the whole size of the screen and then you do minus scroll zone, and if your cursor is in between that zone, that means it is on the very right side, and we'll do a x plus equal to speed. Let's copy paste this, actually do the same exact thing for the z. Now um, the input mouse position, this is going to be dot y on both here, but the actual uh, movement we give to our camera is z, so we'll just say um, z minus equal to speed and z plus equal to speed. And now over here this is going to differ, so this is fine. This is going to be screen dot height instead. And here we go, we should have a nice left and right movement right away. Um, well I guess soon because then we have to declare few few things down here that we are going to do right now actually so let's do a vector 3 move delta or oh, let's just say move so vector 3 move is equal to a new vector 3 and that new vector 3 is going to be x y z plus the current position so transform dot position and we're going to say transform that position is equal to move and you'll see why I just put them on a different line in a moment but let's actually try this out. So if we start playing this and I just put my cursor on this very side here as you can tell it goes very fast on the right or the left side and that's perfectly fine and it works with the up and down as well as you can tell. Um, the next step is going to be we are going to be putting a clamp on that we are going to actually smooth that up a little bit. So um, in order to do that, here is what I am going to do. I am going to create a new 
vector 3 up here, a private vector 3 that I'll call desired position. Now desired position is actually going to go down here somewhere so we do a vector 3 move and then we do all that kind of nice calculation and then we're going to say desired position is equal to move and now the transform dot position is going to equal vector 3 dot lerp we're going to lerp in between our current position so transform dot position and the desired position we're going to lerp at a speed of say 0 0.2 so every frame is going to take these two vector its current position and the place where it should be and then place it at 0 0.2 um, starting from point A which is our position going to point 2 which is the desired position and then up here in the move we'll also change um, this part here for desired position and it should actually smooth things up quite a lot so if we just take a look oh here's a small bug okay um, the desired position is set on 0 0 0 at first so let's just make sure that we create a start up here we'll do a private void start and in here we'll say desired position is equal to transform dot position now this way it, it's not going to be zero 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 anymore when we start it's actually going to assume the position uh, your camera is in in your scene right now so in my case it is right in the center of my board now if we press play this now becomes the des desired position and if I go say over here the desired position changes and we've got a nice little smoothing I don't know if you can tell it is a really nice smoothing and um, I do like that speed but it might be a little bit too fast so we'll remove the maximize on play and we'll have a look at and we'll have a look at our camera right here so we have a scroll zone of 30 that's fine we have a scroll speed of let's just say it's gonna be 2 um, this way it's not as fast and as you can tell it makes a little bit more sense now if I just maximize that again so you can tell in full screen this is fair we could be going a little bit slower but I actually like that so I can actually play go up here do some moves all that kind of stuff but now we have a big problem and it is the clamping so if I just keep going on that side, it's never actually going to end and uh, in RTS game you can't really do that because else you're going to see beyond the Terran mesh and uh, that's not very cool for the player. So next thing we do is actually start clamping our values. To do that, there's multiple ways to actually declare what the clamping zone are going to be but um, I'm just going to be straightforward up here and we'll do a public float xmin which in my case uh, I calculated before and it's like 8 and then a public float x okay sorry x max and this is x min which is zero public float z max is equal to I think it's eight again public float z min which is also zero alright now to clamp this we're gonna do this in between our desired position and our move so it's fairly simple all we gotta say is say move.x is equal to matf.clamp and we're going to clamp move.x which is ourself then xmin xmax and that's it so we do the exact same thing for the z matf.clamp move.z zmin oops and finally zmax now this way we should not be able to go beyond that value I've just set and as you can tell it doesn't go beyond that and I'm, my cursor is right here and it's supposed to scroll but it doesn't go past that point and as you can tell I'm trying with all the axes now it also goes in a uh, vertical manner if you want alright so the next thing we are going to do now is actually add a scroll in so some kind of move in move out some kind of um, distance changer so if I have a look right now at my camera we have a camera and the Y is at 5 now if I reduce that to 3, as you can tell, it got closer to the board. I'd like to be able to, be able to do that um, in my game. So I'll just go up here, declare two new floats. This is going to be the X max and also the, uh, sorry, the Y max and the Y min. And we'll say the maximum is going to be like 10 and the minimum is going to be like 3. Now how exactly do we go about changing this? We could be using our scroll wheel. And that is how we're going to be doing it. So just down here, I'll say y is plus equal 
to input get axis oops and we're gonna get the axis of the scroll wheel which by default is mouse scroll wheel written like that with capital letters and then the next step is going to actually add a clamp to that so move.y is equal to matf.clamp and we are clamping move.y y min y max and that is pretty much all we need to do to have a RTS camera going. So we went step by step to actually create this and here is the actual result. So that's my maximum distance. I can go up here, can go down there. I can zoom in on a piece like this horse, like this. And that's pretty much it guys. So again, this was a really quick Friday video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. If you learned something, please hit the like button. Always helps out a ton. If you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, please subscribe for multiple old IDs. And if you'd like to support me, then uh, check out the Patreon. There's also reward in that. So guys, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.